The Huawei MateBook Fold recently grabbed a lot of attention with the buzz that it might be using a cutting-edge 5 nanometers chip. This rumor had tech fans excited because it hinted at Huawei making a huge leap in chip technology despite all the restrictions it faces. But now, a new teardown of the device has revealed something surprising and a little disappointing. It turns out the chip inside the MateBook Fold is not actually based on 5 nanometers technology. Instead, according to Tech Insights, the MateBook Fold uses a 7 nanometers chip made by SMIC, specifically using the Unplus to process node. This is the same technology that powered the Kirin 9025G chipset found in the Huawei Mate 70 series. So, despite earlier speculation about a breakthrough with a 5 nanometers Kirin X90 processor, the truth is that Huawei is still operating to generations behind top global players. This information puts things into perspective, especially when we compare Huawei's current position to major players like Apple, AMD, and Qualcomm. While Huawei is relying on a 7 nanometers process, Apple is already using 3 nanometers chips in its M3 and M4 series. AMD is pushing out chips like the Ryzen 8040 series, and Qualcomm has the powerful Snapdragon X Elite series in its lineup. Meanwhile, chip makers like TSMC and Samsung are already working towards to nanometers technology, which could arrive within the next one to two years. This growing gap highlights just how far ahead other companies are, particularly those in the US, compared to Huawei's current standing. It also contradicts the statement made by Huawei's founder, Ren Zhengfei, who recently claimed that the company's chip technology is only one generation behind the US according to him. Huawei is actively seeking alternative ways to keep up with international advancements, especially in chip design and manufacturing. Ren Zhengfei also spoke about the company's focus on improving cluster computing, which could help strengthen Huawei's position in the chipset market over time. However, the findings from this recent teardown show that Huawei still has a long way to go. The reality is that it's currently three generations behind the leaders in chip technology. Still, it's worth mentioning that the Kirin X90 chip does offer good performance and efficiency for what it is. Just because it's made with a 7 nanometers process doesn't mean it's weak. For many users, it will handle everyday tasks well and offer reliable power for a foldable PC. But in terms of raw technology and staying competitive with the world's top chip makers, this is not the leap forward many hoped for. There were earlier hopes that Huawei had found a way to manufacture chips on a 5 nanometers process which would have been a huge achievement given the US trade sanctions and supply chain difficulties. But now that we know the MateBook Fold still relies on 7 nanometers, it seems that the real 5 nanometers breakthrough may still be in development or at least not ready for commercial products yet. Tech Insights was clear in their analysis. If Huawei is stuck using a 7 nanometers SOS while others are moving to 3 nanometers and to nanometers designs, then the technology gap between China and the rest of the world is going to continue growing. They expect that over the next 12 to 24 months, companies like TSMC and Samsung will move even further ahead, making it even more difficult for Huawei to catch up. On the design side, the Huawei MateBook Fold still impresses with its build and form factor. The device features Huawei's ultimate design branding and it folds like a high-end, next-gen laptop. It represents a solid step forward for Huawei's entry into foldable PCs, but when it comes to the heart of the device, the processor, Huawei still has some catching up to do. In short, while the Huawei MateBook Fold looked like a technological milestone, the teardown tells a different story. It reminds us that there's a big difference between rumors and reality, especially in the fast-moving world of tech. Huawei continues to make progress, but with competitors moving faster and reaching smaller chip nodes, the road ahead is going to be challenging. There are still rumors floating around that Huawei might develop a true 5 nanometers chip in the near future. But until that happens and is confirmed through actual teardowns or performance testing, 
It's hard to say how soon Huawei can close the gap with U.S. chipmakers. For now, the MateBook Fold shows promise and potential, but it's not the breakthrough. Many had hoped for, Huawei fans may need to wait a bit longer for that true next-gen leap in chip technology.